To solve this problem, we must first look at the equation to see if it can be factored. So what we do is look at this number, the 6, and we find all the factors for 6. So we have 6 times 1. We also have 3 times 2. And then that's it, 2 factors for 6. So when we look at the equation, we want to find 2 factors that when multiplied together, gives us 6 and when added together gives us 5 so I'm looking at 3 times 2 because 3 plus 2 equals 5 and 3 times 2 equals 6 so if we make our two brackets we have x here x here and then we put our two factors in so plus 3 from here and plus 2. So to solve this equation, you know that 0 times anything equals 0. So we want to equate our brackets to be 0. So x plus 3 equals 0. So we subtract 3 from both sides, we get x equals to negative 3. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so 0 times anything equals 0, therefore negative 3 is the solution. And in our other bracket we have x plus 2 equals to 0, so minus 2 from both sides, we get x equals to negative 2. So we'll put negative 2 in here, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 0 times anything is 0, so our two solutions are x equals to negative 3 and x equals to negative 2.